Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province announced the increase of the SME Promotion Fund this year to 1.8 trillion Korean won. This increase stems from the intensification of operational support for small businesses and those self-employed, as well as for businesses in northern provincial regions. After most of the local companies left this area, the daily lunch hour at this restaurant in Suwon City became quiet. With sales plummeting, its proprietor had to reduce the number of employees to half. The income, 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 Gyeonggi Province had increased the SME promotion fund up to 1.5 trillion Korean won last year. This year, however, the provincial administration made a significant increase in the release of funds. The financial situation is very good. It is very good. It is very good. This fund will be used for small business financing up to 150 million Korean won, a 50% increase over the previous limit, and up to 50 million Korean won for business relaunches. In addition, 40 billion Korean won was allocated for youth startups. This year's SME promotion fund also includes financial support for businesses in 10 cities and counties in northern provincial regions that are subject to various regulations as well as six other regions with development restrictions. Enterprises in these regions will be eligible for financial support of up to 6 billion Korean won. The repayment terms for financing are four years for small businesses and up to eight years for SMEs. Applications for financing are being received online or directly at branches of the Kyunggi Credit Guarantee Foundation. Gyeonggi Province and Gacheon University jointly developed virtual reality games that can be used for the rehabilitation of dementia patients. With long-term use, these games are believed to be effective in restoring memory and reflex functions of the brain. At a VR game clinic at Gacheon University, seniors wearing goggles practice simple puzzle games that require them to concentrate and solve puzzles within prescribed time limits. 기억력을 살려가지고 막 이렇게 좀 맞추니까 굉장히 재밌는 것 같습니다. There are other more physically demanding games, such as a mole catching game designed to improve reflexes as well as physical movement. 처음에는 어린애들 하는 건줄 알고 이렇게 하다 보니까 손도 민첩해야 되고 색깔 구분에는 판단력도 있어야 되고 운동도 되면서. Specially developed for dementia treatment. These VR games progress slowly to avoid causing dizziness or headaches. A clinical study of 10 seniors using these games indicated their positive effects on reflex restoration and stress reduction. The rehabilitation effects of these games are achieved as they stimulate the brain and expose it to new experiences. At a recent VR Expo, these VR games for dementia patients received an award in a medical content category. 앞으로 이 효과성 검증을 통해서 계속 새로운 컨텐츠들 좀더 효과 있는 아 그래서 이 뇌질환을 좀 줄여줄 수 있는 그런 컨텐츠들을 지속적으로 저희가 계속 만들어갈 예정입니다. Noting that these games induce concentration more effectively, Gyeonggi Province plans to promote the utilization of these games at dementia centers. Gyeonggi Province recently selected 30 policies for implementation from among ideas suggested by the private sector. One such idea is the development of an app that provides information about facilities for individuals with disabilities. For Kim, a disabled individual and the user of an electric wheelchair, finding a toilet for the disabled while outside of home is extremely difficult. 
나만 갖고 가까운 여건을 갔는데 또 막혀갖고 묻었는 데 가면 은 묻어보기도 민망하고 In order to address difficulties such as those faced by Kim, Gyeonggi Province will develop a mobile app that provides information about facilities for individuals with disabilities in cooperation with related associations. 편의점과 관련돼서 뭐 불편 사항이라든지 뭐 개선 사항이라든지 이런 민원을 많이 들어왔습니다. 매우 반갑게 생각을 하고요. 어, 경기도 장애인 복지가 다른 데보다 조금 더 앞서 나간다는 생각을 Including this app project, Gyeonggi Province plans to implement 19 policies this year among the 30 policies adopted from suggestions received from the private sector. These policies include multicultural library section establishment and indoor air quality improvement projects. 도민 여러분들이나 단체를 직접 찾아가서 현장의 목소리를 직접 이제 저희가 듣지 않습니까? 그로 인해서 이게 바로 정책에 반영되니까 보다 더 공감하는 소통 행정이 활성화될 것으로 other policies to be implemented this year include the mitigation of license renewal conditions for community gardeners and the simplification of interest support for happy home loan users. These communication-based administrative policies will also improve satisfaction levels among residents. Gyeonggi Province recently sent food and water valued at 50 million Korean won as emergency relief to the victims of an earthquake and tsunami that struck Sulawesi in Indonesia last year. Last September, Sulawesi was struck by an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.5 and a subsequent tsunami. These disasters caused more than 1,700 fatalities and left more than 7,000 people homeless. Mm. Sulawesi is adjacent to South Sulawesi, a region that entered a friendship and cooperation agreement with Gyeonggi Province in 2002. Gyeonggi Province sent emergency relief through the Asia-Pacific Alliance for Disaster Management. The emergency relief consisting of more than 1,400 packages, including food items such as rice, cooking oil, biscuits, salt, and canned fish, as well as bottled water, was delivered primarily to those who needed aid most urgently. Alhamdulillah, dengan adanya ACT ini, ya kami sangat bersyukur sekali, kami sangat bersyukur sekali. Dan kami merasa bahwa kami diperhatikan oleh Having delivered emergency aid to Indonesia in 2005 and to Nepal in 2015, Kyungi Province has been sharing in the efforts of the international community. 긴급 구호 지원으로 고통받고 있는 수만 명의 아동과 여성 등 이재민들에게 경기도민의 따뜻한 위로가 전달되길 바랍니다. For international emergency aid this year, Gyeonggi Province has set a budget of 120 million Korean won, more than double the amount last year. Although large buildings house power generation systems for emergency purposes, these systems generally operate in an idle mode, wasting energy. At the Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex, this surplus energy is sold to generate extra revenue. Over the past three years, these electricity sales have generated revenue of 120 million Korean won. Although there has been no power outage incident at the provincial government complex in the past five years, these generators have been operating in an idle mode in preparation for emergency use. Since 2015, Gyeonggi Province has sold the surplus electricity to the Korea Power Exchange. This sale of surplus power is based on agreements between the Korea Power Exchange and power users regarding compensation for power usage reduction. Including sales of more than 43 million Korean won last year, electricity sales by Gyeonggi Province for the past three years exceeded 120 million Korean won. 전체 그 청내에 전력을 안정적으로 공급할 수 있는 것이 발전기 그 가동에 가장 제일 
우선시 되는 목적이고요. 저희가 재정 수익도 가져온다는 두 마리 토끼를 잡는 그런 결과를 가져오게 됐습니다. In addition to ensuring stable power supply, Gyeonggi Province expects to create extra income of approximately 48 million Korean won annually through the operation of its emergency generators. The multicultural population of Gyeonggi Province now exceeds 570,000. In order to address the needs of residents of foreign origins, Gyeonggi Province plans to establish multicultural sections with multilingual books in libraries throughout the province this year. This library, with the international flags, is a multicultural library located in Ansan City. Although small, this library has more than 9,000 books in 24 languages and attracts more than 100 foreign visitors daily. Kyungi Province's Multicultural Library Project will establish foreign book sections at selected public libraries throughout the province. Costing an estimated 2.7 billion Korean won for the purchase of bestsellers, new books, and reference books, this project will also include the operation of book reading programs. Gyeonggi-do는 전국에서 가장 많은 외국인이 거주하는 광역지자체로 전국 대비 32%를 차지하고 있으나 다문화인에 대한 서비스는 부족한 실정으로 도내 도서관의 다문화 서비스 개선을 위해 Of more than 260 public libraries in Gyeonggi province, there are only 17 that have foreign book sections. The number will increase significantly this year. At the Gyeonggi Provincial Museum, a special exhibition is being held that showcases an 18th century politician of the Joseon dynasty, Shim Hwan Ji. Exhibits include his collection of paintings, as well as secret notes he received from the king. Shim was a late bloomer who entered officialdom in his 40s and ascended to the highest minister position at nearly 70 years of age. His pen name, Manpo, also means a slow starting farmer. The head of an opposition party, Shim was also a favorite of King Jungjo, who communicated with him via more than 300 secret notes, the highlight of this exhibition. The exhibits also include a royal letter from King Jungjo written just before his death. Like many scholars in the later Joseon dynasty, Shim also loved calligraphy and paintings and collected the works of masters. He often wrote poems on these paintings. This special exhibition was made possible by more than 500 items left by Shim and handed down to his descendant, who donated the items to the museum in 2004. 도민들을 위해서 정치 활동을 하고 그렇지만 검소한 삶을 살았던 정치인의 그런 본보기가 되는 삶을 도민들이 보고 가셨으면 좋겠습니다. This Gyeonggi Provincial Museum exhibition will run until January 27th. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.